Coming through. Bitch. Oh! Shit! Gotta get a safe distance. Uh, seriously? <laughs> Looks like he's playing a computer game. Look at him. What did you even do? These computers don't look like much, but all the propaganda is in them. That's me when I'm trying to upload a YouTube video to YouTube. That's part of my, that's everybody right there. Just we wait. Guard these computers with our lives. Oh! <laughs> and that's what happens when you get in a rage fit. When it takes too long to um process, shit like that happens, and you and you end up going. You end up throwing the rage like that guy did. But yeah, you just like... <laughs> Screw your keyboard. Huh. See? It works! I, 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 I can see through the walls. What? Box to that? You just heard his footstep. No, 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 no. I'm deaf in one ear. Remember Sao Paulo? Alright, the trombone player. Yeah, one arm trombone player. But now that now that AJ's here, he can settle our little disagreement. Indeed he can, but he's our guest, so let us be cordial. Ah, this one's a lovely juggling. Mm -hmm. We call it Oculus Spliff. As you see through the walls of perception. But you'll need a topper with that one, mate. Ian is in here, and welcome back to Far Cry 4. Freaking thing was lagging there for a second. Yeah, welcome back to Far Cry 4. We left off where I was in this wonderland, like I am right now, of Yogi and Reggie. Which pretty much, you take a, you take a hit, boom. Shit like this happens. What the hell? Uh, where am I? So I guess everything's, uh highlighted for me, which is kind of good, so I don't have to use my camera all the time. But I think it's just in this dream. Yeah. Because, you know, Oculus Spliff or Oculus Rift, that's kind of a stupid name for a freaking drug, but it is what it is. I mean, I guess Oculus Spliff, like, Yogi, kind of like in the camera. Reggie, is that you? Yeah. Oh, shit. What the hell did those guys give me? Ooh, karma. Damn. Look how much that freaking was. Ah. Uh, you know what I was talking about with the non-stop? This is the sprint forever and the move faster. This is probably the... Well, no. This is one of the best perks. The best perk, I think, is the chain takedown. That... Yeah. You definitely need that, especially for the later missions. How did that even hit me? I was all the way back there. But yeah, like I was saying about Oculus Spliff, or Oculus Rift. It's kind of like putting that on, it's kind of like 3D. Well, kinda. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say. If you ever play Oculus Rift. I love it. But... I thought about doing videos on it, but... At the same time, I don't really have the... I just ain't really got time to be doing that because, well, I gotta hook it up, and you know it just takes so long. And my room's kind of, my room's kind of small. Oh, you're not gonna tap me? It's kind of good because I need some of the meat. That's if they even let me. Okay. But oh, sir, they haven't even hit me yet. Hey, I ain't complaining. 
Okay, run away. Those are rhinos. And those things are dangerous. Because they can pretty much knock anything down or away. That's in your, that it's in their way. Okay, I see that in the bottom right hand corner. Or at least I thought. You see that little wrench? The bottom right? That's what it's. So it's pretty much saying whenever you can craft. So I. So I guess like when you're back in the real world, or I'm pretty much in the real world right now, but like when you're off this meth, uh, dream, whatever the heck it is, yeah, you can pretty much, you know, craft. And there's three enemies up ahead, two normal and one charger. Let's try and lure him towards this nest. Or at least try to get one of them. Yeah, come on, that's it. Come towards it. This is the guy with the flat jacket, so yeah, I definitely gotta take you out. I got two of them, the price of one. How lucky am I to have that around? And that too. Okay, wait till they go away, because... Yeah. You already know what happens when you get too close. I don't really see the point of even looting them. Because, well... You know, you just get a bunch of pointless items. I mean, it's good for trading and stuff. I didn't mean to do that. It's good for trading. Like when you, like, want to make some money and stuff. Shut up. Dang, there's enemies everywhere. Another hornet's nest, or beehive. Just throw a rock at it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. When you mess with a beehive, always throw a rock at it. Don't shoot at it. Here is meditation. I was about to say medication. Spin that. Hurry up and spin it and get away. Get the propaganda poster while you're at it. I literally have to jump and get it. Because apparently AJ is not tall enough. Sniper. How did that not hit him? Now it did. Alright. I hear another one. They're over there. Alright. Get to cover, or get somewhere out of the way where they won't. Kingman wants your head. Fuck you, golly. You have no idea how many times I've gotten that in games. Trust me. Come on, AJ, you ain't out of breath. I wonder how this guy did in school. PE conditioning. If he can't do this, yeah, he must have been a freaking weakling. He must have got, um, deadlifted a lot. And not the freaking typical weight lift. The... Oh, God! Ow, how did you... Yeah. How did this... Oh, God, it's worse than I remember. Right, we're only 30 seconds in. It gets much worse. Oh! <laughs> I see my little concoction worked out for you. Our concoction? Ow, right. You drugged me. We Again. offered, will you accept it? Brian, you still have all your bits and bobs. No harm, no foul. Besides, now you have the recipe. Right, and you can glean the benefits of its effects anytime you want. Like a superpower. Exactly. And there's plenty more where that came from. You just come on back to us the next time you need a little kick, yeah? Until then. Shall we? I bet you they were watching porn. <clears throat> yeah, see, look. Hear that? Or they were look? Looks like looks like a freaking uh something out of Sleeping Dogs. If y'all ever played that game, that game's fun as hell. 
Okay, that's the only reason why I wanted to come up here, is to get that letter. Okay, so where to now? Oh yeah, forgot about that. Cloud Leopard. More ammo. Try to save out all my skills for this. Excuse me. So I can do Longinus, Cure at Fashion Week, Amita, or the Propaganda. Cure at Fashion Week. Because there's an outpost right beside of it, and I need to get that out of the way. Because I've been talking about it almost every single video, and I need to get it out of the way. Another fight. Karma Master, more like it. Or more Karma. These are always good. Always go for every single one of them. I don't know why, but I just like doing these. You know, I just like... I like sneaking up on them and doing shit like that. Coming out of nowhere and... And, you know, just doing sneak attacks and... Knife throw attacks. Shake, chain takedowns and all that. I love it. See, more karma. Never gets old. There's no- there's another enemy. Jeez, they're everywhere. The more times I've played this game, the more enemies there are. Rebel scumbags. Wait, you got your tail by? I like doing shit like that. Wait, what am I going this way for? Don't tell me- no, no, that's not another one. Every time you do a Karma Master, and you save them, they always go crazy with their freaking- They end up doing that. Because they're so excited that you help them out, and you know, they just want more. They want more help, more fighting, more power, more badass in them. So, let's talk to this Karate Fashion Master. Weak, whatever the hell it is. Hello? Oh, so the rumors are true. Come in, come in, come in. I don't know whether to call you Ajay or Adonis. Those brooding eyes. That determined jaw. These clothes are more Salvation Army than Golden Path, but I can work with this. <laughs> Who are you? I am Mumu Chiffon, tailor to the crown by the appointment of King of Kriat, His Royal Highness Hagen Min. But you may call me Mr. Chiffon. It's a pleasure to meet you. You work for men. I used to. The King and I had a falling out. He tried to kill me, and now I'm in the hiding. But that's ancient history. Let's talk about the future. Kriat Fashion Week is coming up, and I believe we can help each other out. You need accessories, and I need a model. I would like to make you the centerpiece of my new collection. I call it Combat Couture. And you want me to wear this stuff? These? <laughs> These are just experiments. No, only the finest raiments for the prodigal son. I spent years studying national garment design at the top Parisian academy. A garment must be useful before it's elegant. Form must follow function. Thumbs up. I will send you to gather exotic materials. Furs, skins, feathers. To accentuate your role in primal attributes. I shall send you the design and locations. I hope you are as good with the sewing machine as you are with the machine gun. Because together, we're gonna make you look fierce. Well, don't, don't just stand there. Time flies. 
Return when you have finished crafting my creations. So pretty much what he means by that is kill all these sorts of rare animals and apparently collect the skin like the one you see on the radar right now so it's pretty much taking um, taking um outposts and doing the side missions which is pretty much like I'm getting ready to do right now rare hunting quests hunting rare animals with a certain type of weapon that's pretty much what it all what's all about it's pretty much just gonna be this one. The other ones I'm just gonna save in a separate video. Use explosives to secure the skin of a blackwater dragon. So the rare demon fish. Mr. Chiffon, I uh, I found a design. Is this some kind of armored fanny pack? I'm thrilled you like it. Actually, it's a rare demon fish. I've caught a feeling scales are gonna make a major comeback this year. In fact, I'm so sure of it. I've hired one of the local fishermen to watch a particular spot on the river to make sure. Nobody else takes your price. You can thank me later. Uh, thanks. I guess. You're welcome. You should have everything you need for your fishing trip. A boat, an icebox full of shangri lager, and all the high explosives your little heart could desire. Be fierce, Ajay. I don't know why he even had a freaking uh, gasoline can in his damn boat. Which, you don't really expect to see that a lot, but it is what it is. Ever thought we'd be hunting a fish with the um with the, with the grenade launcher? Every fish, I pretty much say I'm gonna take it out because I don't want to get it mixed up with the, with the with the actual prize. This thing's probably gonna be huge as hell. That's probably what it is right there because that thing should have been dead. How did that miss? There we go. That's it? No, it's not. Where'd it go? Hopefully that thing won't jump up in the air and deflate one of my tires. This ain't of uh, shark versus piranha. Where the hell did it go? Where'd it go? Come on. Get out of here, my god. Maybe that will lure it out. Can I still use my camera? No, I cannot. Now, hang on. Oh, wait, I already killed it. Dirt. I wasn't even paying attention to my mini map. Look at this mother hunker. Oh, Jesus, one behind me. That thing's awfully small to be a demon. Hurry up. The freaking grass is on fire. You know what? Make it even more on fire. Just destroy the whole freaking area, why don't you? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Songs. 23, verse 4. It is good to see you again, AJ. Are you here to do the Lord's work? I guess so. I have a confession to make, AJ. I fear evil. Not the evil of other men, for that can be dealt with easily. No, it is the evil within myself that I fear. Do you remember my sins? The terrible business that I spoke of? You're talking about the diamonds, right? Yes! And the blood of the Lamb washes away all sins. But in order to gain purity, I must repent and make an act of contrition. There are more of these sins here in Kanat. And they must be tracked down. Start by finding a lost sheep. Follow him, and he will lead you to a vault. Bring me what you find within. I got it. And he calls his friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, for I have found my loss.
Reach designated location. So I gotta follow a guy, you know, who's on his way to the to the diamonds, because he did say something about a lost sheep. So you pretty much get rid of, uh, follow him before you get lost, sheep. So this is the vehicle you gotta use right here. I don't know what the hell that says. It's got some ginger ale in here. Freaking seat's all messed up. Wait till he gets to a little... Wait till he gets a little further up. Because, you know, I don't want to be all up on his ass. Go slow as you possibly can. Or don't go as really slow, but... Keep a safe distance. Because you don't want to get so close. Otherwise, the people that will, you know... The person behind him... The smuggler will, you know, notice you. Which I'm kind of surprised he don't really notice me right now. This is not even a road. It's a little path you hike on. And the roads are freaking terrible in Kurat. You can't really tell which is a road and which is a path you go hiking on. I don't know. This is a road right here. But trust me, there's no, there's no, like, one lane. There's no, like, two lanes. It's like one lane together. I don't want that guy to sight me. That was close, see what I mean? You can't get too close. Got a checkpoint. Doing good. Get out. Every time you see that, that means you can get out, he's getting ready to stop, and you can take him out. Jesus Christ, he must have wrecked. Must have hit the brakes or something. So yeah, the sm So the smuggler always looks like this. He's always got that red and yellow and duct tape like shit all over him. One guy's glitched. Track him out, come on. Got a vault key. Ooh. Yeah, this is why you need the freaking chain takedown. Because without it, it's going to be really hard to... <laughs> hurry, hurry up. I'm so freaking good. I'm, I'm alerted, all right. Not as bad as y'all are. But I'm alert enough where I can tell if somebody's around. That's an awkward way to die. Look, his foot's glitched. Wow, there's so many glitches. In Manhunt, in Stealth, or in Stealth, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, pretty much every game you can think of, every game has glitches. No matter what it is. Hell, even Fortnite probably has glitches, but, you know, I don't want to even talk about that game. Don't even get me started with Fortnite. Not saying it's a bad game, but I just don't really want to... I just don't really want to play, play it. There's so many... There's so many people asking me to play that game. You have no idea. Because, you know, a lot of people know I'm good with Blackout and Call of Duty. At the same time, they're saying, Ian, if you're so good with Call of Duty Blackout, you should play Fortnite. Well, I'll think about it, okay? Which is probably not going to be a good thing. Which I'm probably not going to end up doing. Come on. Look at these guys hiding. That's a bad idea. Hey, look at me go. Told you, I am so good at stealth. That's what I'm all about. I have to be one of the best stealth gamers on YouTube. I mean, I hate to brag, but hey, it's, it's true. You can deny it, but you can't deny it enough. It's a sniper. I'm going to try and sneak up on him. 
That's if I'll be even able to. That's if I'll even be able to, which I probably won't. Okay, that's gotta be- no, no, there's one more. Let's see if I can hit him. Hell yeah, I did. Oh, damn, another one. You hear the sound? Do Get the arrows. So let's drive all the way back over there. How play how conveniently place a sea do? Never been on a sea do. I've always wanted to get on one because they're so damn fast and they're so freaking cool. Makes you look makes you look really badass on it, especially when you're standing up doing just swerving and curving all around the place and doing fancy shit like that. You're lucky, Lawn. What's next? It's another Launchness. Should go to Amita. You know what? Let's go to a Launchness again. So I'll edit. I'll edit to when I get to him or find anything interesting of my amaze. Ooh, kill the Royal Army Lieutenant. I think this is something new. I really like doing these right here. Tell you the truth, I think these are way better than doing the uh, karma when you're helping out the Roy the Golden Path. Get, get on the mounted gun! Hurry up! Maze the guy didn't even hit me. But anyway, let's loot the guy. What do I get? A condom? Cause that, trust me, I've been finding a lot of those on some of these guys. And these are some dirty, perverted soldiers. Dog tags. Might as well just take out these guys too while I'm at it. What kind of soldier walks around with no shirt on? And seriously. With a machete, got cuts all over him. And who wears their pants like that? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Hey, there's some unorganized soldiers. Damn, I hear some more. I can recognize the voices of almost every soldier. They're all the same, but they just have different types of quotes. How did that not kill that thing? Damn, you see that thing run? Didn't even hit me. That thing's just bite my... That was nowhere in there even near me, but whatever. It's dead, and we're all good. Search him. Why not? Probably got soap. Seriously? You expect to you, you expect to get gold off the guy. Get it? Golden path. Gold on the bridge of pet oh. Okay, I'll stop. That was terrible. My puns are just getting really, really stupid now, and yeah, I do apologize. But anyway, on to, onward to Launchness. You know what? While we're here, why don't we just do this outpost? Because if I accidentally run into them, I'll just do them. But the ones, if I don't, I'll save them for an another video. Because, you know, I like to do the story missions before I get to the side missions. But in Far Cry New Dawn, I didn't really do that. Matter of fact, I need to finish that, uh, that part in the game where I do all the... Uh, the uh, side missions with the helicopter guy, where I go in and take the some supply drop and do that one outpost. I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, I need to do that sometime. But you know, man, hush just got me all distracted. I thought Hitman got me distracted, but no, clearly it's Manhunt. Or I'm over there. So this is the heavy gunner. So this is apparently the Royal Army heavy gunner. 
And when you go to the back of them... Whoa! Huh? Take that back! Wait, hang on. Wait till he stops. Wait till he stops. I, don't, I, I need to get a clear shot. I hit him the first time. I don't know what the hell that didn't register. I don't want this freaking uh, scorpion. Get rid of that shit. Look at this bad boy. It's only got like... Ain't got much ammo. But still, this is a beast of a gun. What was that? I gotta shut that duel up. I could just let it out and eat all the other soldiers, but... It just make it way too easy. I mean, I could do that. Or hell, I don't know. If I get sighted like a, a, like a super amount of times, then I probably will do it. Or if I'm just in a hurry or something. Mmm, that sucker got split open. Flawless victory. Hell yeah. Eat shit. So this is a new little side mission. As soon as I'm better, I'll plan another attack. Make him pay. Eye for an eye. Where army kicked a woman out of her home, so this must be this girl. That's my home. Yeah, that I know. Can I please talk and now? now dead. And kill her family with the head with the handgun. Avenge her family by killing the royal army commander with the handgun and take out some pictures of the prince. He needs to die. Die. What's happened? Can I help? Yes, kill him. Send him into the hells. He came with the royal army, tried to get us to join. And when we wouldn't, they killed everyone. Except me. That's horrible. He's taken over our house. I'll show you on the map. I've already tried to take it back, but it didn't go well. Too many soldiers. He just laughed and said my suffering was a pleasure. Okay, cool story. Wow. AJ's gonna be like, uh, I'm just gonna get out of here now. Get rid of that thing and shut this little... Shut that little asshole up. So you have to use a, de a designated uh, weapon they give you. I'm just going to get rid of the crossbow. Because I need to get rid of it. Because I need to use something different. I've used the revolver in the first episode. But still, I need to use other weapons. Why do these guys look like they're alerted? Because they're all looking at me. Take an alternate direction. Yeah, why are these guys alerted? I didn't shoot my gun or anything. Maybe they're just, maybe they're just shocked that... Hell, I don't know, that somebody's getting ready to come to the rescue and they want to be prepared. I don't know. I'm just predicting. Sometimes in games you can't predict what's happening. Every time you run, it's always noticeable. Or it's the most likely chance of being noticed. That's why you always gotta go crouched. But when, but when it's this slow... Which it ain't gonna be no more. See? Look how fast this is. Look how fast this is. That's me sprinting right here. That's like, this is like me walking. This is the reason why I like this, uh, skill. Cause, no, it stop running, which means he don't get tired ever again. That was the, that was the target you have to kill. Christ, that was close. I get, I get freaking 
No matter how many rebels we kill, there are always more to take their place. What the hell is that? So take a picture. That's kind of that's kind of psycho taking a picture of the dead. But if it makes the person feel any better, then what do you want me to do? My life is over. Can help me? I can't go on without my beloved Mina. I nice. have nothing. No wife. No big. Yeah, you get ready to have no help. freaking life. My wife was eaten by rabid honey badgers. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you laughing? Oh shit! Are you? You're serious? I I am so sorry. That's terrible. How can I help? We own a small fur trapping business. I'll mark it on your map. I want you to kill every honey badger in the area. There should be a weapon nearby. I'll do it. And again, I'm I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh, AJ. If I if I would if I would have laughed at somebody's loss like that, I would just you get beaten up, slapped, punched, kick in the dick. Who knows what will happen? Especially if you do that to your brother or sister, or like a girlfriend. My girlfriend did that to me. She'd probably break up with me and say, "Say f you, I'm out of here." Love you, baby. So this is where we gotta go. The two designated locations. You can use this if you want. It just makes it a lot quicker. Or makes the uh makes the side mission go a lot faster. Cause honey badgers, yeah. Those things are scary. Or they're nasty. And look how many there are in that one little area. Oh, seriously! Did you see that? Look! It's going right through the house! It's it just hit that little pallid. It went right through the house. Take that sucker out. Whoa, I didn't even see you. But I saw that. All that gasoline, Jesus. It was a beehive. What an ugly place location to have it. On a freaking hello sun. Not anymore. Look at all of them. I could run into it, but I ain't stupid like most people would be. Damn, look at the way they run. They're awfully slow, but they are disgusting. It isn't good. We can't keep eating it. It's not nourishing. It's made us all sick. Sambar. Please, let me help you. Oh, that's that's incredibly generous of you, and so brave. Are you sure? I mean, are you really sure? Yeah, of course. Sambars. Sounds like fun. Sambars? Right, sambars. Uh, let's see. You'll need a bow. Should be one in the hunting shack then. I'll mark the location on your map. I'll be back. Hopefully with lots of sambar meat. When you're done, just take it to the freezer in the hunting shack. Don't mind the other meat in there. It's not exactly edible. So hunt sambar. It's pretty much just like deer, just in case any of if some of y'all didn't know that. I think I gotta kill three. Remember, there's two of them right there. Or three. I think I s tag that one. That's all three of them. You know what's kind of funny? They don't even run away from me. Because you know how sometimes when you go hunting, they run away? Especially when you don't have this little protection or like little spray. Because sometimes when I go hunting, you, you gotta spray this stuff on you. Ah, I'm out of freaking... My loot set's full. Just get rid of as much stuff as you can. But try not to get rid of any of the, um... The animal skins. Unless you don't need them anymore. See, if I would've ran... That sucker would've probably hurt me. Where's the other one? Oh, wow. It didn't run away. I could have swore I um, attacked it, but I guess I did it. Where's the other one? Almost full. All right, let me just let me get this thing and I'll be good. Now let's go back. 
Now, every time when you go back, yep, I could see it up there. Or, at least I thought. It's always a tiger. Or a leopard. Damn. That sucker vicious. It'd be nice if I could kill that thing with a bow and arrow. And I did. That's how much of a warrior I am. It's good to go ahead and take some of this, so you'll you'll have an advantage on some of the stuff you need. Maybe for uh, damn, there's another one. You know, for like some of the items that are like coming up that you need to upgrade later on before you upgrade to the ones that you need to upgrade right now. It's good to go ahead and have some of the skins that you you know you might need, but it's but it's always good to have them. I'm just I'm just saying. I think it's probably right there. Probably stalking me too. I know you. You're with Sabal. You can help me. Slow down. What's going Whoa. on? Whoa! The royal army is holding my cousins and aunt. They say they're helping the Golden Path, giving them supplies. Are they? Look, I'm fine with them helping the Golden Path, but I'd like to know what I'm getting into. Okay? Under control, and the people fed is always important. Especially since the army hoards our food. So Keep up the good work. But my cousins are innocent. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Don't worry, I'm on it. Jesus Christ. Beating them to death? Watching over them? About to torch them? These guys are more crazy, especially when they betrayed their own people. Damn. And say mother... Look, that's it. That took like ten, like five to ten seconds. Praise the gods, I'm alive. Yeah. I can't believe I'm alive. You saved my life. Go into the basement. Bless you. I'm sure you'll find something. Basement. Okay. Thank you. Help yourself to something from the basement. Basement, huh? Must be down here. What's down here? Ooh, a D2 shotgun. I've heard this bad boy can freaking kill. It's got really good damage, but the but the range is really bad. Come on. What the hell was that? Should I do Longinus, Amita, or Propaganda? Uh shit. I got an idea. Propaganda. In Pirat. This, this is uh this is Rabbi Ray Rana and you're listening to Radio Free Kirat. Let's hear some tunes. <laughs> OMG Ajay Gale. <gasps> by your eye, by Jan, I would like to shake your hand. I have been keeping an eye on you. You are doing really good work. So you're the guy on the radio. Yeah, that's me. The voice of Radio Free Kirat, Rabbi Renana. Look, you fight with your brawn, but I fight with my words. And you know the old saying, the pen is mightier than the sword. I mean, after all, I I'm like a Rush Limbaugh, but with soul and a conscience. Besides, the more people I turn away from Pagan, the less people you have to fight. I can't argue with that. Still, there's only so much I can do from here. I spread the truth. And I take the liars down a peg, but someone needs to get their hands dirty. And come on, look at me and Chotu. I mean, Chotu's dirty, but it's not like we can mess people up. The only guns we use are water guns. And come on, man, that's why I have this radio show. You have the broad shoulders and biceps to take down evil. You've been tearing down propaganda posters, which is great, but Bagan's propaganda machine is kicking it up a notch in response. His men are setting up temporary propaganda centers, and those places are churning out the bullshit 24-7, yeah? So what do we do? You see all this hardware? I built it myself, man. I mean, you think Chortu helps? Come on, look at the guy. He's got body and mind dyslexia. The dude is practically worthless. I use this stuff to monitor Royal Army radio channels, and I've managed to locate one of these centers. And you want me to put it out of commission? Hearts and minds, Ajay. Hearts and minds. We can't have Bagan contaminating the population with all his bullshit. And this... this will stop the propaganda? No way, not even close, but don't worry. 
I'll track down the new propaganda centers whenever they appear, and then I'll relay the details to you. Meanwhile, you should go do what you do best. Go fuck up those members, man. Take out that first center. Oh shit, I gotta go back. Hey, uh, thank you so much for coming. Hey, go do, make him some chai. Bhai, you got chai banao, bhai. Sorry, this is not a first class hotel, but we do what we can. Are you hot? Should we turn on the AC? Chotu, AC ko lagao, bhai. Sorry, it's really hot in here. It's like a hot box, man. It feels like Guantanamo Bay up in here. It's so great meeting you, man. Hey, we are back. You are tuned into Radio Freaky Rat with Rabbi Ray Rana. We've had some questions from our loyal listeners. This is coming from, uh, So, take out the, uh, propaganda outposts. Or however much, uh, propaganda he wants me to take out. Because, you know, apparently the place he's talking about is covered in it. So, let's go ahead and take care of it. Coming through! Bitch. Oh! Shit! So pretty much everything all around you is propaganda. And no, I'm not talking about the fences and the boxes. Well, some of the propaganda is in the boxes, but that kind of box right there, that's full of propaganda. Or the tower is propaganda, but the box is not propaganda. We just need to destroy that so we'll knock the propaganda radio tower down and there'll be no more propaganda. Okay, I'll stop. Sorry, I can't help myself because I just like to get... Get him out of the way. Good enough. You know what I'm gonna do? Plant that. Just in case somebody decides to take it off. Or just in case if I feel like I'm missing a couple of propaganda to destroy, I'm gonna uh, destroy it. I want to destroy all or kill all the royal army first, because I want to get rid of the nuisance. Well, the propaganda is the nuisance too, but I want to get rid of the the living nuisance. It's in the next house. Hopefully, he didn't hear that. Looks like he's playing a computer game. Look at him. What did you even do? These computers don't look like much, but all the propaganda is in them. That's me when I'm trying to upload a YouTube video to YouTube. That's part of my, that's everybody right there. Just we wait. Guard these computers with our lives. Oh! And that's what happens when you get in a rage fit. When it takes too long to um process, shit like that happens, and you and you end up going. You end up throwing the rage like that guy did. But yeah, you just like. <laughs> Screw your keyboard. And there's gonna be some enemies. As soon as you pretty much destroy almost all of it, they end up coming. They end up charging at you. Wait till they get a little closer. Or wait till one of them goes toward the um the car. Come on. Come on, you bunch of cowards. Cover me! I'm headed up! Ah, fuck this. Why not? I just wanted to. What? What? Gotcha. Here he comes. Ah! I saw a heavy gunner on the back of it too. And he looks like one of the commanders because he's got that little, he's got that fancy like shit on him. Gotta get a safe distance. Uh, seriously? <laughs> oh my god. I saw a sniper line of fire. Must be over there. I can't tell if it's good, and I probably don't really want to know. Oh, it's bad. Because, yeah, it's, uh, it's at an outpost. 
Oh, it's a fortress. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wait till the. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely waiting till. The next video for that. That you're near Paul de Bloor's fortress. Tread carefully. Varshakot will be a tough nut to crack as long as Paul's alive. Varshakot. So that's pretty much the um the name of the um, the outpost. Deplore's fortress. It's very hard. And Bugador, that's snore. You don't really. That's pretty much what um that girl you saw in the arena. Yuma. I don't really want to talk about her yet. And all the way over here, Pagan Min himself. I don't really want to talk about Yuma yet because we haven't really encountered her. And, you know, I wanted to keep that a little bit of a secret. I wanted y'all to find out for yourselves. Whoa. Whoa, nice kitty. Please don't hurt me. Okay, thank you. Alright, let's do this last launch in this and then I'm going to end it. If any man has an ear, let him hear. Revelation 13 9. I am preparing my sermons. That's a lot of sermons. All mankind will fear. They will proclaim the works of God and wonder what he has done. As for you, there is another lost sheep to track down. Locate him. Follow him and bring back what you find. So another lost sheep compared to Longinus. Or according to Longinus. See what I mean? The guy's a religious freak. He loves the Bible, he loves God. Well, that should be everybody. And, you know, he's a gun made at. Did you see the way he pointed that thing at me? Yeah, if some guy did that to me, I would be like, mm, that shit out of my freaking face. But how about take this? Take this on for size. Okay. Enough about him. Longinus is a good guy. You should respect everybody in this world, no matter don't matter who the hell they are. So this is apparently the last Longinus um mission. Not for like for the whole game, but like for the for a cert for some of the part of the game until you get very uh until you get a little further. And this one can be a little tough because the distance you gotta be is kind of it can be kind of hard to do because look look at this big wide open visa he seriously can't notice me that far smoker's too far what if he's too far away how can i can still notice him yeah you really don't want to get close with this one because yeah you're in a big open area and he can definitely notice you well, they probably do. They just be like, eh, I don't really care. He can follow me whenever he wants. He's a big fan of mine. Came here to get this money wheel. This is a pretty uh tough launch of this mission to not get sighted. I mean, I, I mean, I've done this uh, mission stealthy a millions of times, but still, it's still tough. It's still tough to do. Because, well, there's enemies everywhere. And, you know, there's there's not really a good opportunity, you know, to kill the enemies. Gotta get that guy distracted. Go look over there. Hurry. Okay, I gotta hurry up and take this guy out. Perfect. And that guy didn't even notice the thing. Almost. I need a throwing knife. Because, yeah, those things are essential. I need a crossbow, too, but... It's always good for a challenge. Oh, my wife is scared to death about that supposed killer who leaves Yalung masks everywhere. She insists I leave a gun with her when I leave for work. Keep it to yourself. I don't care. 
Yeah, I don't care either. You're the bad guy. And I don't care about your little story. Nothing's getting by me. Fuck yeah. Well, you might be right about that, because I'm kind of out on uh, stealth weapons. Okay, this might be a little tough. Got a little bush here, which is kind of a... Oh! Oh, God, God, please don't. I need a throwing knife. Lord, please give me one. Please give me one. Distract them. You know what? I want to... Whoa, where are these guys come from? Ah! Forget it. Whoa. Hey, that's okay. That's completely fine. I need a syringe. They're already... Oh. Yeah, I need... I need more syringes. Because, yeah, those things are critical. These guys are annoying. These guys are pests. Hurry up and get out. Let's hurry up and escape. See what I mean? This this is a pretty tough mission to not get sighted on. Look at this. Look at this idiot. Look at him. I know someone is out there. This guy must be a rookie. Oh, seriously, I shot that hubby gunner. You clearly are, because I shot you a million times in the freaking helmet, and it didn't even fall off. But clearly it did that time. I don't know what that means. But it probably means... Fuck you. Let's get out of here right now. I need a sea dude. I don't want this shitty ass boat. Sea dudes are a lot better. Or so either that, or I just didn't really want to get inside of it and you know just turn the whole thing around because the thing's really um slow to move. I don't know where this glass shark came from, but just spit that shit out. Oh, careful. You're on land. You don't need to do that. Get the leaf, because I need to craft a syringe. Wait, hang on. How do you do it again? There we go. I don't know why. I just wanted to use it, because there's a perk I'm trying to get. Recompense. Yeah. The next mission, I will get this, uh... I will get these chain takedown and heavy takedown. Before... Excuse me. Before I start this next um, video, I'm gonna get it. No matter what. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you on the next video for more Far Cry. Where we do a Mita's mission. And continue on to there. So, I'll see you when I get on to the next mission. Or Far Cry. Four. Ina's out.